Welcome back, Pride. It is the cat, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, prediction that I, I seriously am not making this up. Like, this is a real prediction that I made at school, like, as a joke, and it turned out to be real. It's one of those coincidences that will never happen to you ever again in your life. And I know that I probably should be playing Battlefront right now instead of Halo, but my PS4 is being a dick, and it said it needs to update Battlefront for 99 hours. I am, I am not joking. Wow, there's a lot of things I'm saying that seem so impossible, but legitimately it does say 99 hours. I don't know why. Also, let me let me just add radio graffiti to, to the Avengers and uh, the Christian. Oh, the the Jesus chat line because I I feel like they should be on it because they're being savage. So yeah, let's get started. So it was the day that Star Wars came out, and I did not want to read anything at all, zero, nothing. All I knew was the uh, new main character's name, which was Rey, and that was it. I was gonna come in there like with a clear mind, I had no idea what the fuck was happening. Also, the time that I said the quote-unquote joke was around... Uh, the beginning of uh, the day, basically. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. And the first person that I said the, the supposedly joke was to my teacher, and I, I was like, huh, I, I saw the movie early, Han Solo dies. <laughs> so yeah, and we were just laughing. We were like, yeah, that's never going to happen. I just chose a character that, you know, seemed too badass to die from that type of way and uh, so yeah so then I told some of my friends and they're like whoa you saw it and I was like no I I'm just kidding that would never happen and so then like two days later when I went to see it and that scene came like I got goosebumps and uh, yeah I was like what the fuck <laughs> like I I did I obviously didn't say it out loud in the movie fair like what the fuck I was like <laughs> and uh the day after that none of my friends saw it and i was like guys remember when i made that joke well it turns out that that joke was actually a legit thing that happened in the movie and they're like oh shit because <laughs> we just ruined the movie for a lot of people <laughs> oh my gosh and i felt so bad i was like ah because i know how it feels like you know like to not get um, spoiled by, like, a book, uh, or a game that's coming out and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, shit, oh, my god, and I don't know, I just felt really bad that day, I, I was like, oh, I was one of the first to see the movie, but I spoiled it for everyone before I even saw it, and it eventually became, like, an inside joke, like, when a new movie came out, we were like, Han Solo dies. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. And I will see you in the next video. May. My idea for the dream Call of Duty that I would want is a Apollo 1969 mission to the moon. And there is a war on the moon. Um, obviously, like, not crazy, like, you know, 40 people on each side. World War Three shit. No, I mean like a realistic, at least attempt, because when we're already talking about fighting in space, we're breaking a lot of rules in terms of, you know, common sense. Like, you cannot shoot in space. There is no gravity, so your bullet is literally going to